Hi, and welcome to the sixth part of building SS using Django and Vue.js. In this part, I'm going to make it possible to add bookmarks to the category we added in the previous part. I want to start by creating the model for the bookmarks. So go into Visual Studio Code. As you can see here, I already created this model. This is because my Mac crashed, so I had to do this again. But as you can see, I created a new model called bookmark with the category foreign key. The related name is bookmarks, so I can get them by writing category.bookmarks. I have a field for the title, description, and the URL. I also have a created by, so I know who created the link. The created at will be automatically added. And I copied this from the category. When you have done this, you have to go to the command line and write python manage make migrations and also manage.py migrate. I have already done this, but you will get some other output here. And then we can start the server again. I want to import this model to the admin interface so we can try to add a category. So I add it behind here. Below as an admin site register bookmark and save. So now I can go to the browser to check this out. I need to log in with the user I created in the first episode. As you can see here, bookmarks has been added. So I can try to add one to the search engine. Google. This is my favorite google.com and the user is code.code.com okay I can remove some of this this is just because my last video crashed and save now I have just one I created then I can log out again and log in with code like that I know that the link was created in the database, so now I can change the code for the dashboard so we will see the five newest bookmarks here. To do this, I go into dashboard, views.py, and on top here I import the bookmark model from apps.bookmark.models import bookmark. To get the five newest, I can say bookmarks equals request.user.bookmarks.all but I only want zero to five, which is the five newest. Behind there, I create a dictionary bookmarks, bookmarks. Also, need to pass in the context here to the template. Then I can go to dashboard.html and remove two of these. And above column here, I add a for loop for bookmark in bookmarks. And then I end the for loop below here. I want to show the title bookmark.title. Also want the description, bookmark description, and we can print the URL down here, bookmark URL, and save. So if I go to the dashboard again now and I refresh, I will see Google, which I just added. If I click this, it will open in a new tab. Also want to show the links belonging to this category instead of this demo content so I can go back here again to bookmark views.py and here no sorry I don't need to do anything here I can just go to the category.html and remove two of these and above here create a new for bookmark in category.book marks.all since they had a re relation we can just do it like this instead of creating a new query set 
to show the title here too. Bookmark that title. Bookmark that description. And then the URL. And save. Okay. Forgot, uh, not and if, and for, of course. And now Google, which is belonging to the search engines. If I click newspapers, I don't get any links. Perfect. Now I want to add a button up here so we can add new categories. I want to begin by creating the form for this. I need to import the bookmark model. And I can copy this since it's very similar. Bookmark. Replace this. And I want the URL field. So it's this, it's very similar. Then I can go to views.py to create the view. I want to import the bookmark form and the bookmark model here. So I have them. Then I need to create the view at login required def bookmark add request. And I want one parameter here, which is the category ID. So I know which category to add the bookmark to. I can also just copy this since it's going to be very similar. Replace category form with bookmark form. And the same down here. And I can replace this. So it's a different template. Bookmark. But I have one more foreign key here to add. So I say bookmark.category. But instead of adding an object, I can just say category ID. Category ID. So this will be passed in here to redirect the user back to the category page. So here I can just do this and then I say category ID equals category ID and save. Next I want to import this to the URLs for the dashboard. Behind there I paste that. Path categories and category ID add bookmark and then I can paste this and the name should also be bookmark add then we can save then I do one more thing inside category.html I just want to separate this a little bit then I want the URL for the bookmark add and I want to pass in the category ID. Add link. If I save now and go to the browser and refresh, I will see the add link button here. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's linking to the category with ID 1, which is the one we are in. Add link. We haven't created this template yet, so we can go ahead and do it now. It's very similar to the category add template, this too. So I can just copy the content. Bookmark add.html. Add bookmark and save. Now here we have the form. DuckDuckGo, Privacy, Search Engine, Submit. And now the Search Engine category has two bookmarks. Perfect. I want to add a little bit more HTML here. So I go to Dashboard, Is Multi-Line. I can copy this and paste it here too. So when we have more than four in a row, the next one will be jumping down here instead of going out of the screen. And that's it for this part. 
In the next part of this video, I'm going to make it possible to edit and delete both categories and bookmarks. I'm sorry if I'm mixing up link and bookmark sometimes, it's just that I'm used to saying link, but I also know that bookmark is a normal term to use. If you want notification when the next video is published, you can subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell.